That would give the merchants here in town a leg up over the nobles. They would control the iron. And we're not directly involved. Nobility, but that's dangerous. We wouldn't be directly involved, but it's dangerous because the allegiance or the alliance of the people who only care about money, I mean, this is the other side of, they're not mercenaries, they're merchants, but coin is coin. Right. What if the, the, the pets, you know, decided to pay more and they started the sleezing off and I... No, ah, it has to be the Actually, brothers. this is great. Because we can use that. Mm. If this fails with the brothers, we can simply say, oh, well, I suppose we'll have to go talk to the Merchants Guild then, and, you know, as an aside. <laughs> See how they react to that. There you go. Put some fire under that the belly. That would be dangerous. Not dangerous. You're a dangerous man, Mr. Thistle. You could flip it. <laughs> you could go to the Merchant Guild first, okay, exactly. charge them an, an, an insane price, and then yeah. go to the Lords and say, well, the we're... Merchants. We're charging them this much, and then we can charge you less, and they'll be more keen to go for it, the especially if they're only cutting. They need cutting. to just say, well, screw you, I'm just going to go to the noble no, myself. your original idea is good. Pressure them with that. And don't say it's like you're using it in a way that is a weapon, just, I really wish oh, I could have fair. dealt with the nobility, things could have worked out so well, I guess I'll have to go to the Merchant's Guild, they're so greedy, they'll probably use this material for their own gains. Play to the, the, right. their, uh... You're right. I have an idea with that now that actually works really well. If I have you come with me as an independent merchant... Play the noble's weaknesses. Yeah. ...in this regard. If we discuss this and then you bring this up as being a potential asset for the Merchant's Guild and perhaps we should investigate with them instead, it may make the brothers act faster. Very Having you so, there yes. as an independent merchant would definitely put the fire under their bellies and make them aware that this is a potential risk. On paper, that would and work. You over. have the premises and the personnel. You could pull it off. They might see that as a threat, but if you appear if malleable and willing to work with the, them... If I use myself as the dignitary for Falder, wanting to improve relations with the city and the nobles within the city, I could very well use that as a cover for yourself. We'd have to be right. careful with that. I don't want to appear that guy is somewhere. We should appear no, no, neutral to each other. Go ahead. The reason why I say that is because, remember, if there is an embassy here to the Empire, that is because they're taking the word and thought process of these dignitaries very seriously. If you invoke Vern Folder, that might raise a few eyebrows and get a few people snooping. I don't mm. think we want that. That's a good idea. Yes, we should, we should keep that low profile. We, we they are, are already aware citizens. that I am... Um, they are already it's aware fine that, that they are aware. Am... As long as we are not invoking the name. Yes, no, I, I understand that. But they're gonna want to know why a nobleman from Von Falder is working with an elf. And then they're gonna wonder the other type of company that you keep, and they're gonna start digging. We want to appear that as normal as possible. And I think that the way that Mr. Thessalo has put this together along with your diplomacy is our best option. I do. And if there's anybody who disagrees, now's the time to speak up. Honestly, it's probably the best sounding plan we have. I'm not good Anything at politics. Anything too much attention to ourselves. It's out of my wheelhouse. I believe that this will be beneficial to more than just the Forge. A stone from the mine, the ore, the gems, anything that we find. It can be sold via our friend here as income for the city, and we can use that to also help us in our They'll other endeavors of the wall. The... Not At least that. for the start. Two things that I know of. 
I had a conversation with Marcus earlier. Do you remember Jensen at all? Of Over course I remember Jensen. Oh, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they're doing mercenary work. Um, I think that they might be involved with some of the caravaneers. If you talk to them, we might be able to secure a wagon. You're right. Uh, he's... Yes, I believe, I believe Jensen is actually... Uh, in charge of his own wagon. You speak to Jensen. And to further our credibility... I think we can trust them. We should talk to Jack and his wife. They're a registered merchant. And we could use that kind of cover. That makes sense. Hmm. Well, how do they play? Especially Wilva. She has so much. She has many connections. Mm. Wilva has been trading non-stop, and she's known for it. She comes and goes out of the town at all times. Nobody will question it. Obviously, Jack, because you know that's his wife, and he'd probably want to know. <laughs> However, her credibility as a trader would be able to add to yours. And my thought process is that if it can look like it's a company, or if it can look like it's, I don't want to use the word guild, but a large company that is interested in this investiture, it might spur the brothers to try and claim this allegiance or alliance a little bit harder than they would if they thought you were a small game, if you will. I'm just trying mm. to think of ways to compound our credibility so anyone who looks what happens? to any of the paperwork on the surface will be convinced. What happens what? what happens if they do some digging and realize we're just a bunch of peasants masquerading as a company? <laughs> then we're fucking dead. We could make a real company. Now who's the dangerous man? Well, that circles back to my idea. We could. That's I suppose we could make a company, but obviously you would have to keep your name out of it. In face. Not only that, you'd have to convince the merchant's guild to not push you out of town. Also, th yes, we could be yes, the that the competition. If everything works Very out. Well, the merchants. Go ahead, Cyrus. I'm just saying you'd be a very small fish in a very, very large pond with very big fish that would, well, <laughs> want to eat us. You get the idea. Uh, uh, mm. Then the way to approach that is to find out how the Merchant's Guild work. Is it, it, I believe it's fees and dues, right? And if we are working some sort of cut-in with them, and we are doing all the dirty work and they're getting free money, I don't see why they would want to mess with a good thing. I agree with you. I just don't know where people lie. The political situation in Nodis is very strange to me. <clears throat> you have an obviously failing noble family because of a, a, a tragedy that none of the family was ready for. The merchants don't seem to respect those who remain within the family, but nobody's outwardly doing anything to challenge their authority. The, the, the pets, from what you've said, are pressuring them, but we don't know in what ways or how. I don't understand how things haven't collapsed yet. I mean, people here seem... I'm not going to say content, but they're not starving. But it's not because of the nobility. It's just something that doesn't add up to me, called intuition. I don't know what it is. I'm just afraid that if we do go along with this making a company or a wave, or making any sort of waves here in Notis, that it's going to attract someone's attention. That's fair. Someone's maintaining control here, and if it's within the guild... I don't know, maybe I'm being paranoid. Um, no, you're right. I mean, it's but not... Counterpoint, you Someone could be creating waves. And if we just want our heads above the water, that's what we have to do is swim. Maybe if we don't create as many ripples that they don't, that doesn't attract as many predators. Slowly. All these swimming plants are smooth swimming. making me weirded out. Continue to. <laughs> Sorry, I can continue to work on this. At the moment, I at least have a meeting with one of the sons. 
If I can introduce you as my associate, an independent merchant, someone who I have discussed potential business arrangements, we can then go from there, present our idea, present the gains that we can make from this and the potential benefits, but we can't allow that to seem like it's our idea. I want to try and have the brother... To make them feel like they're leading into what it is you want them to do. You're going to have to be very slick with your wording. Both of you. Mm. Make them look like they hold hold the hands. They hold the cards. Or at least get into a deal out of it. I can... You allowed me to to lead most of the um, discussion on that front. At the very least, the discussion will need your assistance more than myself. I can present the ideas and the evidence that I have accumulated and present what you present as the amicable and albeit profitable idea because we right. need this iron the stone is a extra that we can get while we excavate the mine well, which can also then be point. used for the defense and building of the city at this point i think we've reached talking in circles right so what we'll do yeah i'm starting is... to lose all now to be honest <laughs> We're going to go ahead with both of your plans. You continue on with your meeting with this son, uh, Ahmed, or whatever he is. Um, gauge where they're at. Come on strong, but not too strong. Seem malleable. Figure out what kind of man he is. If anyone can, it's you. Try to mitigate oh. any sort of concern. They'll know that you're an actual noble. Or cling to that. Act like a noble. You know what I mean. A human noble. Greedy. <laughs> um, I, s- I smell the potential we... for a profitable endeavor. There you go. We will continue scraping oh, yeah. what we can together at the ground level, but if you can think of anything else that we can do to help outside of the politics, let us know. Will do. The biggest thing we're going. The biggest thing that we're going to need in the future will be manpower. Idle hands. If you spot those that are idle that you believe can work towards moving or piling stone, things like that, I can also have my company in their idle hands and their constant noise to trigger their energy elsewhere to the mines. Name of the game is Coin. We can bring in Coin if it's just about anything. It's grotty, isn't it? Yeah. You said so as much, my son. <sighs> we'll also eventually need swords. In this, in this game. Which, again, money to hire them on. Man. Right. I also wanted to bring this up to Tang just so that we could potentially offer both the potential investment as a mercenary for protection, but also use his knowledge for mine, mining for later on. That's if why there I are any changes to, to this, please let me know. Yes. I would be content to sit and speak, but I have an order for that guard, Captain, and I think he'll actually take my head if it's not done. Yep. Let's go, Jackson. I will not take any more of your evening. I thought of a better name. Jackson. You did? Yeah. What? Byla. <laughs> I can remember that. No. Byla. I was thinking Sharik. Ah, uh, uh, boy. That seems to fit. Sharik, um, very good. That's fine. Just so we're on the same Sharik. page. For obvious yeah, reasons, sad. we cannot go by the names that we used to. We've done this for months, but I'm saying it again. Mm. All right. Please remember not to call Merindel Merindel out in the fucking street. His name's Vezrin. Spear boy. All right. Oh, I thought this was Tezrin. No, fuck. Vezrin. Vezrin. The V. I've been saying I've been saying it with a T this entire time. You do okay. have an accent. We've all been saying it with a T. I I don't I have an Tessalor, accent. I thought Tesalor, Tezrin. It was just easy in my head, you know. Vezrin. Okay, I can remember that. Yes. Okay. 
I said, Lesnar, oh, sorry, sorry. I've been going by Tazim. Kyla will be going by Sharik. You'll get used to it. Sharik. Tazim and Sharik. I'm Raylan. <laughs> Very good, Raylan. Congratulations. Thankfully, she I guess I should probably ball. think of a. <laughs> I like your so name. Fast. You look a lot like the arena master, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kirby. Well, that does raise a point, though. They may. There's been a few people that have known my past. I wonder if I should probably start assuming at least a different name. These are public facing things. Not being actively hunted by mm. the Empire, I think you'll be fine. They, they have a very similar. Right. I'm a little bit distracted by the man who ripped another man's spine out of his back. That was terrible. Yeah, I didn't. <sighs> oh, it's Smith Smith. No, it's Smith Smith. I, uh, I was looking in the water earlier and I couldn't find any iron. What's your I'm name again? Go out in the water to see if I can find any more. Smith Smith. Your name. Oh, uh, my name's Severick. Cedric. Se Severick. Yeah. Right. I was uh, playing a bit of a joke on you before. Out the market. I'll have to admit, you seem like a good kid. Oh, your name's... What do you mean? Is your name Smith Smith? No. It's Sharik. I was playing a prank Shariq. on you. Sharik? I gotta go get some flyers done for that courier. I'll be here. Well, I'm about to go in the war, see if I find a wood for him and maybe some iron for you. That would be fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I'll see what I can usable. do. Mm -hmm. Stay safe, Severick. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll do my right. best. I saw some big things moving in the war, so I'm staying only near the docks. Yeah. Don't risk yourself too much. I kind of want to see oh. him fighting like a shark so or something. Smith Smith? What in the fuck is wrong with you? Name of the smith. This way, this way, this way. I guess they're Jackson, according to him. No, not anymore. I'm Shadik. Yeah, whatever. Nah, alright. Since that fits the theme a little better. I do have some halves if you, uh... Nah. You need any halves for any weapons, not that the forge is up and running, let me know. I got some sitting around. Definitely. We're starting to... Slowly gather some jobs together and eventually we have some money. But uh, for now, we're doing okay, mm -hmm. but it's good to know. Yeah. Mm. One step at a time. One step at a time. What are you, are you the. I, I'm looking at you. Well, All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work then. I Appreciate it. Yeah. At least you got this up and running. Maybe it seemed like it was a. Yeah, we're actually a while. doing it for profit now right. rather than paying off the debt we accrued by putting it together. So, I'm yay. Mm hmm. To the lad over there. I think he's the apprentice. Yeah. Well, good luck, and if I come across <laughs> anything, any iron, please. For you, I'll be sure to come anything. To I'll ideally not <laughs> stolen, but. <laughs> You know. No, 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 no. Yes. Uh, if like doesn't get the iron. twenty <laughs> iron bars <laughs> fell off a cart or something, let me know. I, I'm not a... <laughs> Just if, in case it happens. <laughs> Similarly, is he, is he if you happen to come across any piles of wood that are not, that are no, wood fuck wood. you. There are trees. There are trees out there. You can cut down wood. <laughs> I could if I. I mean, I would if I could. Right. Forgive me for. You know how to cut down trees, no. Uh, I think that's Sif's territory, and they're not willing to do business with me. Why? Purple one. They haven't said, but I have to assume it's the whole joining, you know, dwarf, you know, that whole thing. I would. I would offer to front for you, but I mean. Yeah, Marcus has it under control. He's been getting good for me. You seem straightforward, so maybe I can. Anyway, I'll leave it to your business. Pascal is going to be making potatoes as well to go with your fish, and we're going to be doing like a family dinner tonight at sunset. So, if you're around, which I hope you are. I guess not. Well, he doesn't get angry. <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm. That sounds like a wonderful addition. How's your day been? <laughs> not too bad. 
catch up with a few people and uh, a few surprising faces. Oh yeah. I've seen a few too. No, you don't need to. You don't need mm -hmm. to do that, please. I'm going I to shank you and take your later. money. I... Don't, don't, no, See? no, I'm fine. I won't bother. Oh <laughs> gosh, I, I. He's joking. Uh, He's joking. fine. Would you have? What can I do for you? <sighs> I haven't shanked anyone in days. Bite. Do you? Do you have I any need of a? Do you have any need of an accountant, a bookkeeper, someone, someone who knows the written arts? I'm a, I'm a scribe. You see, almost. Ooh. I'm a, I'm a scribe. You see. I can serve very well, and I'll work for very cheap. <clears throat> You're a scribe. We, we've, we've been doing a pretty good job of keeping our books together. I, I see. That looks... See? Whoa. As you can see, there's, you there's see, profit over here. There's, like, some sort of stuff over... There's a number here. Yes. That's, that's silver. Should you be... Should you be showing me all of that? You won't remember it. That, that might be confidential. <laughs> No, I won't, honestly. As long as you, as long Side as you know note. the details, you're fine. What is an overhead? Because we have one already, but I keep having to mark it down for this. Um, well, that's... I, I, I'm not versed in the business arts, but that basically... I think that means how much you're spending on your labor. Oh. Your Nothing. expenses. So, I, I've heard if you have a high overhead, it's, um... It might be bad. But you do have a high physical overhead, it seems. Hmm. We're but okay. Then again, I'm, not, I'm not a builder either. We're okay in terms of bookkeeping, though. If uh, I don't know when tax time comes around, I might hunt you down, and maybe we can work something out. And how, how long? How long would that be? I have no idea. I don't know when tax time is around here. <laughs> Whenever they come to collect taxes. <laughs> I, I believe that's a yearly thing. I might. That. When I, when it happens, I will run and scream for. Elias, my name is Elias Benton. Elias. I, I, Elias, yes. And you are, uh, Shadik. Uh, 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 Shadik. 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 Yeah, there you go. Shadik. Shadik. Yeah, either works. Shadik. There you go. It's, it's, it's nice to meet you, Shadik. And you're, mm. and, um, are you the, are you, are you the Master Smith's wife? <laughs> no, I am the apprentice's, um, I, I, You're the I apprentice's the apprentice. wife. <laughs> right, right. So, well. Sorry for presuming. Mm. So, um, I'll keep you, I'll keep you in mind and I'll come back when, if I hear word of tax Fantastic. season coming around. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> How can I help you? Hey, it's, uh, I was wondering if my dagger got finished yet. I was wondering if I could pick it up. Uh, do you have the last bit of... No, that's right. You're paying 20 a day, aren't you? I'm not... Yeah, I'll get started on those payments tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow morning when it's done. We just got a big order with all the guards and whatnot. Tomorrow morning, and first thing, it'll be done. I see. Right then. As soon as I wake up, then I'll head straight here. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. You got it. Running a business is tiring. <laughs> yeah, you think that's bad? Imagine, imagine, imagine wrangling a bunch of men and women and trying to keep that in order. Gross. <laughs> <clears throat> what were you saying? There's a re there's a reason you didn't. There's a reason you. I was re I was always busy twenty four seven back then. <laughs> yeah. Sir. Good fight this morning. How can I help? This yours. It's part of it. They're making uh, cold coke, I believe. No, oh, no, this is the forge. It looks like. Why is that? Mm. I need some of the black powder. Washed it off. Charcoal. Yeah. Uh, how much do you want to pay for it? I can give you a couple handfuls. I don't have money. You have no money?
They don't. No. They don't pay you. All right. Let me get you a cup then. Grazie. You. <coughs> wow, Galaxy. that looks tiny in your hands. <sighs> Running a business is hard. So, what were you saying again <laughs> for the third time? <laughs> I say you think that you think that's hard. Imagine imagine being in my position back then. <laughs> Couldn't. There's a reason I was I was uh, constantly active. Yeah, I bet. It was fun watching you work though. <laughs> it does have, it does have other times that I I kind of miss it. No, it I don't mind settling. Well. I don't mind being able to settle down for a bit. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I might be able to get back in that there, but hopefully there's a home to come back to. I'm planning to send a letter to uh, Alexis if I can later on. I can ask if there's what the situation is. Have you heard anything from Hello? Hello. Severic? I was able to find a. I found a. A, a barrel that had some iron on it, but it was all rusted, so I don't think it was usable. I gave it to uh, uh, Aldo. Good. Aldo can put it to use. I, if I find a iron, I'll bring it back here. What, what was your name again? It's, you told me it's not Smith Smith. It's, no. it's K something. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> something? Okay, something. Like it's fucking nothing. Okay. Ah! It's really insane. Giant scary woman! What's your name? What's my fucking name again? <laughs> oh, it's evening. I can take off the fucking turban. Oh, okay. I'm not going to burn my head anymore. Do you do repairs to tools here? We do. We are a little swamped and we're a little low on iron. What do you need done exactly? Just an axe sharpened up. Oh, sharpening we can do. Don't worry about it. Sharpening's easy. It doesn't cost anything extra, mm. so in material-wise, but I can sharpen it up for you. Sure. Couple things in the blade. Oh, that looks easy. Yeah, give me like uh, twenty minutes or so, and I can have this done for about thirty copper. How does that sound? That's far too much. Far too much. How much do you have? I only have about 15 right now. I haven't been able to sell my logs. Uh, let's do 10 now and 10 tomorrow. Or when you sell those logs. Call it a favor. How about 10 now and a favor? 20 copper for simply sharpening an axe? Yeah. In 20 minutes. I mean, I... And then I don't need it sharpened. <laughs> Running a business is hard. <laughs> In that the truth. <sighs> But no. Since I lost some of my correspondence when we reached the boat, I haven't gotten any updates since then. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you'd heard anything from, um, Dorst. Nothing? Nothing so far. Might have to send a missive. Unless he just isn't responding. Since the boat was, since the boat was closed, I haven't been able to send anything. So, may your guess is good as mine, and I sincerely hope that my men 
And the host is still alive. I'm sure they'll get back to us eventually. Master Brewer, how can I help you? Is the Forge Master in? I need to speak with him for a small bit. He's a little preoccupied. Come back in 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Yeah, everybody's got to make some 15 profit, copper to make that. Yeah, I'm gonna go broke just eating. So, does, everything has a process, I would imagine. <laughs> But hopefully, if we can get some contact, it'd be nice. At least I'd like some clarity of that. Yeah, having a bit of a understanding of the situation there might help us out too. Where did you get that? The market? I bought it, Kyler. What? Don't look so surprised. What's what? Huh? How much was it? <laughs> I've got her. Can you pretty, there pretty wasn't please? At the yeah, I'm <laughs> Get me one All as well, right. please. <laughs> there wasn't anyone at the stall, so I placed five copper on the stool and, and picked up an orange. Also, I spent 15 copper on this hair oil. Why? <laughs> he said it would make my hair shiny. You don't need your hair. Why do you need your hair to be shiny? You're already shiny enough. Why do you need your ha know. the hair shiny exactly. there? <laughs> like it was good. I he convinced me, okay? You got fucking played. He was a very good salesperson. That's what the old man told me. Uh, at least I'll have shiny hair. Fuck, what was my so name again? I keep forgetting. shiny at that point. Not just, not just, uh, just hair included. Well, I'll go get you. I'll go get you that food. <laughs> no, I meant Dorse. Sharik. I keep forgetting, dude. It's hard. I'm Come up with a name, like. Uh, take a walk. I don't know. I'm getting antsy. Yeah, I can tell. What? Right? You're just jealous of my hair. Okay. Stefano, what's happened? I have a question. Miss Triton Lady, I have a question for you. Like an honest, genuine question, okay? So, a lot of the guards have, have like a, a bet going on or something like that. How do I get started fucking talking to a fucking uh, creature of the night? Anyway, speak, man. This is yeah. you, I, I, It's difficult, alright? I've never spoken to a Triton. I've always wanted to do it. Now I have the fucking opportunity. Dude, it's to fucking hard. I'm remembering all of this shit. And I'm remembering all of everyone's new fake names that they've decided to have. Half the people that have fake names don't need to have fake names. They're not being like hunted by anyone. They've all just decided to have fake names. Aren't I get, but there are other people that I'm like, why are you what? How do you do it? Do you do like a normal fish or do the arms or how the fuck does it work? Well, I use my arms. I swim. What, do you think I would have won? Fuck you. So, the way we thought it too, like a snake from side to side. Or like, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people think they have like really flexible backs. Use them. They're not snakes, they're like human. I was going to say, they're supposed to know a human. I don't think they're supposed to know, okay? I need a pee. I'll be back very shortly, chat.
It was a coin, Zed. It was the first minted coin with King Alias. It was given to Arn. I know, right? <laughs> Are you lonely? I could keep you company. <laughs> What's your name? I've seen you around. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you so much. Where's my reward? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Is it a slice of cheese for Enriquez, or is that just exclusively them? Or what is that? It looks like cheese. It's an orange. Is it cheese? It's an orange. I see. <laughs> you should be able to oh, see. It's, it's it's not as bright out. Yeah, it's it's, it's very square, isn't that. it? <laughs> I haven't had the pleasure of meeting it's you. A, I've seen it, you around. It's an though. exclusive thing here. <laughs> it's a one-off trade deal, yes. Ah, oh, dang. Oh well. Uh, I am Torty. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the leather worker in the stinky side of town. Torty, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Shadik. I am the uh, blacksmith's apprentice. Shadik? Alright. I'm go not going to remember That's that. Fine. I hope you know. I forget a lot of the time, too. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. It, I usually have to mentally compare people to fish <laughs> in order to remember them. So, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't mean to be rude. And I hope I'm not insulting you, but... Uh... Everyone starts their sentences <laughs> that way to me. Like, literally every single person's like, Sorry, I don't mean to be mean, <laughs> but what the fuck are you? You know, well, I hear that all day. you're obviously a drow, as am I. Shut the... Okay, when you say I don't mean to be rude, and then you pull out a fucking knife, <laughs> that's not the great start. Well, I'm not gonna eat this with a rind on. <laughs> well, you just peel it with- oh, I guess you're wearing a glove, you can't get your nails yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Hmm. But, yes, go ahead. Be rude. What's with the... You know. Oh, you know, if it... So you see those like fish women that are walking around and they're absolutely gorgeous queens? Sure. Yes, yes. Well, if you ever are in a boat and you're sailing off and there's an island of like five of them just there like, oh, hello, look at me. You know, if there ever is that type of situation, do not spend the night with them having the most amazing sex all night, okay? Don't do that. Write that down. I'll take, I'll take note of that. <laughs> So that's what happens. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, uh, there's an island, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, four knots that way, seven knots, uh, what is it, more northy. Uh, avoid that area at all costs, let me tell you that. You're a sailor. Using knots, no one uses knots. Oh, well, wind catcher, but yes. You can't catch wind. <laughs> it just becomes smell or air. <laughs> Well, I, my job is a wind catcher. I make sure that the sails catch the wind as much as possible. So oh, the specific back. jobs. Got it, right. Yes, yes. And that's why you're a leather maker now, because there's not much wind to be catching or boats to be doing it on? Well, I'm a leather worker now just because my ship is under you're repair. Good. Hi, Dredge. Hi. When he walks, it sounds like a ship's moving. I know, it's amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> his very bones are creaking from his mass amount of muscles. It's amazing. <clears throat> so, been on the surface long, or...? Surf? Oh, I mean... I only go underwater when necessary. I don't really, you know, care for underwater stuff. No, like... Uh, not... Oh, wait, sorry, I forget. Uh, yeah, no, um, I'm not from down there. No, I'm from both. Oh. That's interesting. Hmm. 
That explains a lot, mm. actually. I'm not like the you know all the You're other the like boat. slaves around here. The, I'm from the boat, yeah. Fair enough. You're not like all the other girls. Is <laughs> what you're telling me. Sorry, I just need. I'm not like all the other question. girls. Mm -hmm. Have you seen your father? Not recently. He's out and about. Understood. I have some good news for him, or they do. Oh, good. Wait, Metal Man, sorry, hold on. I think there was a man lying to me about you. Um, did, is there, is there, is, okay. Wait, are you actually hollow or was he telling the truth? Oh, there's a fire in there! <laughs> mm. Yes, there is. So wait, do you actually Still turn red left. when you're angry <clears throat> then too? <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> What? Okay, this is a lot more amusing than I was expecting it to be. What do you mean? This is wild. <laughs> You're just okay with it? Wait, let me guess. You know him too. Everyone knows everybody except for me. I, I don't know you. Well, I know you now, I suppose. Yeah, you know me now, La but La I mean, like, La let me guess. Lottie. Well, you Lottie. Are, you... Lottie. <laughs> Latte. Torty. Torty. I've been- I've trying Torty. to remember so many like, names today. Torty. Torty. Got it. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Do Anyways. you know him too? Are you gonna say you know him too? To be fair, we just met. What the fuck was that? We- we met literally oh. a minute Five minutes or ago? three minutes ago. Yes. Oh, okay. That's almost as long as we've known each other. Oh, that's how they know each other, that's... but... Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You have one brain Anyways, cell. That's amazing. I heard the same guards were looking for me. I'm going to take a look. <laughs> okay, have fun! <laughs> I like to think it a little bit more than that. Put our heads together, we put a little bit more than one. Mm hmm. We're very smart. You go this way, I'll go this way. Sometimes we finish each other's. Very smart. <laughs> go ahead. I'm Oranges. <laughs> oh, that's. Oranges. <laughs> yeah. How many people actually. <laughs> <laughs> At least here. <laughs> okay, yes, I, I, I dropped the bomb on that one. <laughs> you did that I one on purpose. Recognize it. So, do you, do you how old are you talking? I'm interrupting the no. uh, conversation. How old am I? Oh, I, are you, why, are you interested? No, I'm curious. Really you have a not really really spark about you. Morden's gonna be on the roof, he's resting. Right. Uh, I have a spark tired, about me. By. Well, I'm not as old as the old no, fuck elf no, that was walking no, around no, saying, oh, he's so like 600 years old. No, I'm Anyways, like 25. <sighs> You're 25? I my own work to do, so I will be around. Yeah. Like 25. Why? How old are you? You're gray. How old are you now? Morden should be on the roof. I'm like late 80s. The roof of, uh, of our building. If you 80s? Need what the heck? Uh, I guess, you know, the, I guess, like, elves and stuff, yeah. we live long or something, right? Stuff like that. Yeah, we That's live, cool. like, three or four times as long as humans. Do you not? Like, you seem very detached from everything. What? Like... Yeah? Because <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here for long. Well, like I said, my ship is under repairs. Once I find my crew, I'm gone. Huh. Well, it was... A Pleasure meeting you while you are here. You are the most interesting drow, nearly, that I've met. Nearly? <laughs> nearly? Mm. Who do I have to kill? What's my competition? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Yeah, and don't worry. Don't be sad that I am leaving. I'm going to be here in town for a little while. Uh, seeing how I don't know where my crew actually is. So... No worries. You haven't heard of anyone from the Sunfish, by chance. <sighs> haven't heard of that ship, maybe. Mm -hmm. No. What happened? You just walked Thank on you. land and didn't come back to the ship, or...? Oh, uh, well, there's a... Oh, hello. It's you. Hi. Hello. Um, Is your hello. name... Uh, what it? A turtle? A torty. But yeah, yeah. A Let me guess, a little short time. fuck was yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. He, he called me queen or something, and I was very confused. Yes. He said a uh, drow lady <laughs> who was not Kyler, uh, someone named Turtle, he said, uh, told, me, told him to say that. So uh, thank you, by the way. Uh, um, 
pleasure to meet you. Ah, uh, Thor. Sorry, I think it means. It's a pleasure uh, to meet you. Stavir. Sharik. Huh? Sharik, yeah, Sharik. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I said that. <laughs> what did you say? Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, you didn't hear anything. That was okay, me. I'm gonna throw this fucking hammer. If my girlfriend wasn't in the way, I would have. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Yes, my name is Raylan. Okay, cool. I'm Lauren, you idiot. My name is Raylan. I don't know how to name like uh uh Sharish. Sharik, and it's. It's actually quite a common name in Gradia, I'll have you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, fucking... Anyways, sorry. Oh, fine. Uh-huh, go for it. <laughs> I digress. Okay. Don't, don't hammer at me in that way, you're looking so angry, oh my god! Okay, hey, use that anger and take it out on her. Ah, for fuck's sake. It's great to meet you though, Thirty. Uh, if you ever need any bits and bubbles, I make a lot of those. I'm sure Understood. I'll actually. keep that in mind. Hmm? You have a similar oh, yes. style, to, style to me, kind of the, the eclectic type. So yeah, if you ever need anything, <laughs> I'd be happy to know. Of Why course. are you still looking at me? I, what, I'm not allowed to fucking look at you now? Yeah, but you're giving me a look of like, I'm going to kill you in your sleep tonight. Am I? No. What? Is it it's better now? your general demeanor. No, it, 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 it's it's not even... Okay, I've been having facial problems all day. Really Part of it is like, uh, my face, like, I, know, I have like a I'm stroke sorry, or I'm something. Sorry, you made me think... Fair, You're gonna have to okay. forgive... You have to forgive him. He has, he has, he has, uh... You little shit! Don't throw shit at me, I... <laughs> <laughs> he threw a, an iron bar at a my brick. head. Oh my gosh. You absolute... His face. Yeah. All I have. Yeah. There's nothing else in my head. She needs the face. It's the face of a queen. What else is supposed to be on that? The coins? gods decided that I was pretty, not smart. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for taking the ring. <gasps> a mood. You understand? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna continue for my walk. I'm. You gonna be there for dinner tonight? <laughs> have good Raylan. luck. Raylan. Yes, I'm just you know going for a walk in a. Uh, Getting used to the city that I've been in here for two years. Yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got lost. It's funny you guys been here for so long, and I only just am bumping into you. you We've know? been head it's down so busy wild. in this place for it's so long. City. It's a big city. Yeah. 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 He barely, he barely looked up half the time. Oh, you've got one of the. Uh, what are they called? Oh, the bards used to play these I all the time. Fina. Is that what it I is? I was playing it earlier. I play it for five copper. Oh, okay. It's just five just copper. Just for funsies. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh my Go God. on. You can entertain me while I work. Sorry. Oh no, no, this is your mistake. Oh. All right, okay. I'm not okay, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't actually know how to play this thing. I paid you five copper, you better learn quick. <laughs> it's like a hyper it's like a hyperventilating fucking recorder or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait. No, I went the wrong way, hold on. No, fuck! Where is it? Hold on, I believe in myself! <laughs> is it too late to ask for the money back? Yes! I said I'd play for you, not that I'd be good at it! Fair. They did say that. Can you play the one that goes... Oh yeah, sure, easy. I, she's nailing it. I just like it. <laughs> a real virtuoso. What was that? Did you swear at me? Would you a call real, her? A real, no, a real virtuoso. A virtuoso. 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 
Is that not the word? Am I, I don't know what word you're trying to say. <laughs> How long have you had that for? Well, it does have Virtu virtuous energetic. Am I stupid? I'm going for a walk. Fuck this. Oh my god. It might be in the right context. Ooh, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you see, I'm getting I'm hearing there. you are, I'm yeah. A little more practice and you've got this. Like a few months. I only just been pressing buttons for a couple of weeks now, so I'll be honest. And at least you are making something of it. Yes. Mm. It's entertaining at least. Anyway, this is heavy. I'm gonna put it down now. Thank you for five copper. Yeah, thanks for the... Yeah. You're welcome! <laughs> and you were, and you were, and you were giving your, you were giving your mother, uh, crap about being duped. <laughs> I got a good reward, a good reward out of that. She's gonna have, like, snake cub in her hair or something. Alright, I think I came out of this a lot harder <laughs> than she did. <laughs> We have a loving memory together now. We do. See? We do. do you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, now in a few, uh, like a few weeks, a few days or whatever, I'll be better and you'll have the memory of me being awful to compare it to. It's going to be That's great. right. That's, yep. I love that. I can like remember and document your time improving with it. Via accordion. Exactly, exactly. You just have a, like a mental compilation of everything. You, you come to me every day great. and practice, and then we can like compile it. I will come to you and personally perform everything I learn. How's that sound? As long as you improve. We don't make that kind of I will, movie. don't worry. I practice every <laughs> night. Um, Hands off the merchandise, unless you're buying it. Careful. Oh. Someone was grabbing a sword there. I was trying to put it back I'm on the table, but it started phasing you. through the table, and I'm not I can sure throw this hammer it. pretty far. Don't make me... Oh, dear. I can, I'll, I can attest, I can attest. He's thrown it at me twice now. I'll hire Dredge to hunt and you down. Besides, uh, right? I know and I know how to use a sword pretty well myself, oh, no. so... <laughs> I, I, I don't I like that laugh. That the sword is phasing through the table, and I, I love it. It usually means he's about to kill wow. someone. Oh, you two are friends. Oh. You two are acquaintances. Mm. Oh wait. I mean, have you seen his joy? It's great. So yeah, I was nearly in the splash zone. Unnecessary what, what's your blood. What's my Trying secret? To him. What's your secret? I like. You need to learn to play an instrument badly, and then. It's cool. Oh uh, yeah, well, yeah. He likes me when I play the instrument, so that's a good start. <clears throat> uh, secondly, if you cheer really loudly when he like rips the spine out of someone, I think he likes okay. that. Do you like okay. that when I cheer really loudly for you when you do the? <laughs> yes. That's a yes. Yeah, just do that. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Tordy. Mm. You're welcome. Isn't there a tavern to be gathering around, not my workplace? I'm sorry. This is true, this is the workplace. I'm sorry, I brought everyone here with my amazing playing skills. I know. Sorry. No. <laughs> I just find myself entranced with one of the knives you have crafted here. I see that you are having some issues with your workplace as well, is it? These are knives I've repaired today. These aren't knives for sale, unfortunately, but this is the kind of work that we can do. If you want to commission us, maybe tomorrow, if you have the right money for it, we could probably get something. The issue is that we are currently at a supply issue with our uh, iron, so it's hard for us to get the materials to make the weapons. Maybe in a couple of days we might have something, but... <laughs> We can fix things, depending on Remember. what it is. If I remember correctly, there was an iron mine not too far from here. Can you so it sharpen my mind. I can sharpen. Sharpening's easy. Hmm. You'd need to pay for it. You said you didn't have money earlier. I don't. When you have money, come by and I'll sharpen it as good as I can. 
It'd be like cutting through butter. Mm. What's butter? <coughs> uh, I think milk, but thick. I don't think that's quite a good analogy. Think milk, but like brick shaped. It really, so it's something, it's really, it's something really soft and easy to cut through. Yeah. Like really. Like cheese? Yeah, you can cut the cheese yes. really easily. Easier than cheese. Mm. Right. To answer your question, we're doing our best to get some supplies in. It might be a couple of days before we actually have anything to work with. To make mm, something from I scratch. See. We've been making do with repairs, but even then it's been dicey. Well, if I remember, if I do start to remember that mine, I will tell you immediately. Thank you, I'd appreciate it. But of course. And if you can't find them, uh, feel free to flag me down as well, and I'll let them know. <laughs> I see. Well, <coughs> yes, I believe I should leave you to your work. But thank you for showing me of course. your work. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. We work hard. Come on, right. I believe you have other business? Of course. Uh, at some point... Uh, if you want to stop by the hunter camp, I do want to talk to you, if that's okay, but that's completely up to you. It might be tomorrow. We're pretty swamped today. That's fine. I just wanted to leave it out there and have it be your choice if you even wanted to do it. Of course. Yes. My apologies. I was very rude. I did not give my name. My name is Lorelai. Lorelai? Yes. I am Sharik. Good to meet you. Say that again? Sharik. Sharik? Sharik, yes. Very nice to meet you. Sharik. I will keep that in mind. <sighs> you the blacksmith? The, uh, blacksmith's apprentice. What can I do for you? I was trying to get a, a estimate on what you would charge to repair an iron sword. One-handed or two-handed? One. It'd be about, uh... One silver, sixty. If we're repairing it, like a big damage. We can sharpen for a lot less, but if it's foobar, then it takes a little more. It definitely needs repairs. Yeah. Like I was saying, we don't really have the uh, iron right now to do any full repairs. It might take a couple of days before we can do something like that. Unless you can supply the iron yourself, which, if you can, please. Oh, wait, what? Wish. Just wait, a farmer. What? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, your best bet's a couple of days from now. We might have something then. We're doing our best to get supplies in, but it's been what? difficult. No, no, super rush. Them off. It's mainly to scare people. Trying to rock and you know, just swing it like crazy and hopefully they run away. Yeah, I suppose that's better than uh, not having anything, I suppose. For now, I'd say use the, uh, the one that needs to be repaired and we'll see what we can do. We are at our limit right now. We're redlining things as it is. Right. Well, I appreciate information. I'm, uh, Harry. Harry. I'm Shadik. Blacksmith's apprentice. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're a farmer, you said? Yes. I work out on the farm. Very good. Yeah. Right, if I see you around and we're good, I'll, uh, and, uh, I'll let you know. Uh. I don't know. Do... <laughs> Liliana. What did you say happened? 
some fast truck um Eliana? Okay. Man, why is there yeah, it was like Nice to meet you, Rip. Dude, well. like Why are you holding a cup? We need a sign over the the forge to say that we're closed. Before we could just close the door and now it's yes. all open to everyone. <sighs> Alright. Yes, Sergeant, it's fine using my real name. I think it'll be fine. Maybe if we don't put Captain in front right. of it, it'll be fine. I guess as long as they don't mind know my surname, like they should be fine. Exactly. I just know for a fact there are people in this city that want me dead. So, and obviously you know about, you know. And I'll make sure that that never happens. Thank you. It's weird being back. I still haven't fully of adjusted. Course. Last time I was in these parts, I, uh... Well, different times. Yeah, hopefully there's a better times at the very least. Shriek. Yeah. <clears throat> you wouldn't happen to know if that was having that meeting today or any time soon. Who was having the meeting? The dwarf. It's a dwarf in the red. Oh, um, he came by and said he has good news for the Master Smith, but I don't know if he's had the meeting already. Oh dear, I certainly hope not. But he is fully equipped to have had it, so that's good at least. Well, I'll keep looking for him. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think it might be time to All take right. a walk. I'm a little cooped up here. What are you up to? I got nothing planned. Shall we take a nice walk along the beach? Yes, let's. <sighs> what a busy day. Ah, uh, here you are complain. Here you are complaining with go that you didn't have enough work. Yeah, but you know. <clears throat> Different work. I know. No, that's fine. <laughs> I have to admit. I've never oh, actually God. seen the coast the like this before. It's a surprise. Right, you've been landlocked for a while, haven't you? Yeah. I've never had a chance to really go out this far. <clears throat> no. It's bright during the midday, though. I don't really come out here during those times, but in the afternoon, in the Did evening. Did you two see a fat man run by? A fat man? No. Fat man, green coat, no, mustache. No. Sorry, guardsman. Mm, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, thank you. So this would be really. Well, not this, but I mean, your time here would be the first time kind of seeing the ocean, huh? Yeah, exactly. Well, this isn't an ocean, this is the, uh... I can't remember the name of the river, but it runs north. Over there's the Redwood Forest, um, and... <laughs> Black Rock Landing, I think it's called, over there. Over that way is the, the open ocean itself. We're on the mouth of the, uh... River. <laughs> I myself haven't made it this far east. I only made it to Black Rock. <laughs> well, you certainly certainly have stories to go with that, don't you? <sighs> Too many to count. None of them very pleasant. That's why I'm a little worried about being back in this area. And that is a change from last time.
I welcome one. It is. You know, the last time I was this far east, I, uh... <clears throat> it was after everything went south. I basically left Coricardus. Oh, yeah. uh, barely even had my blood in me. <laughs> Ended up in Blackrock and... Did a few jobs here and there. I probably wouldn't be welcome in that city, Eliana. Mm. Barely welcome here. I know you were I saw you were struggling when you were here. I knew you were going to stay here. I guess I'd really never had a good idea until we got here. Yeah. Next couple of months are going to be pretty rough, but for the first time I actually feel like we might do okay. Yeah. That's all we can do. Each other, work, work together, help each other out. Hand in hand. Thank you for coming. I don't think I said it, but I would have understood if you weren't to stay. This has happened to Ben and Ben and past. That part of me will always be for that, but I chose to follow my heart. And that I don't regret. Good. My words still stand to this day. You are my light in the darkness. And my love is eternal. Even if I may pass. That won't happen. Not again. No, it won't. We'll both make sure that never happens. Well, at least we aren't delving into any tombs or fighting on the front lines anymore, so maybe our life expectancy goes up a little. Quite. <laughs> That's true. It was not, and... <laughs> have you to at least watch things out here. You're the one that knows how it works out here most than anyone else. Yeah. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> Why so? I'm gonna have to do things and not tell you guys about it, and I don't like doing that anymore. That I only do it like that because I know that's the safest way. I don't want to put anyone You know your father risk. would be furious if you had this. We talked about it years ago. And he said that 
if I genuinely believed that what I was doing was necessary. I don't know. I'm not doing anything over it right now, I'm just putting some feelers out there, but you know how things spiral sometimes. I guess what I'm saying is like, that point. I'm not trying to hide anything from go you. Ahead. I don't want to hurt you and I'm not trying to go behind your back, I just... I just want to protect you. I trust you at this point to make the careful choices. I think it's the point where it does become... If you could die from this, don't keep it from me. I won't. But I also don't want That's you to ask. throwing your life away for mine. We don't want any of that. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't have to come to that. Hopefully. Because I don't know what I would do if I lost you. Find someone more handsome and smart and charming and... <laughs> live a happy, <laughs> stress-free life. You could pretty much get anyone you wanted, let's be honest. Look at you. If I wanted that life... I could have easily just stayed in Adwick and keep my station. Yeah, I'm sure there'd be a nice, loving rat man you could marry and settle down with. That's fair. I don't know if I'd be able to find someone else that comes class. You flatter me, my lady. <laughs> oh, you've been practicing. Look at you. <laughs> yes, as best I can. It took me a while to get used to this. Well. I've always been a bit of a wild child, so. It is strange seeing you wear a dress. I know you've been wearing it like the last couple of days, but like, it is strange. I'll have to it's get a you out of it. Difficult, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should head back before we miss this dinner. Look at me, range. Mm hmm. You are an absolute treat to be around. Have I ever said that? <laughs> I could say the same. Sunset is beautiful. It is.
Do you see the uh, the bathhouse and the uh, all the dancers? No. There are these two gorgeous dancers. Uh, one with really pretty makeup. They had like red lips and everything. They were uh, trying to uh, convince me to um, ha enjoy their services. I told them I was taken, but they told me that apparently they do partner things too, which is really cool. And so I want to talk to Arn and take him to these uh, two dancers who are stunning. And I want to show him the bathhouse too. Because we haven't gone in a while. Go check out the bathhouse. Where is it? The two of you. Anyways, um, yeah. Oh, and the, oh, I'll show you. Slow down. You don't need to run. <clears throat> yeah, I've been going on a lot of walks. Supposed to be doing this uh, family you know, dinner just, uh, soon as well. The city because I like walking around the city and uh, knowing where everything Remembering is. where everything is. Yeah. Did you see that dwarf? Let me know. Yeah. Sure. Yes, I actually still haven't seen him. I will. I'm sorry. I might have... be retiring for the night. Yeah, no idea where he is. Yeah. Oh, um, good night, Mirin. I hope you are. Uh, fuck! I, that was an out of character moment. I'm so bad at. I'm so sorry. I'm actually fucking stupid. Oh. Pardon me. I might be retiring within the next hour or so. Good night, friend. Best. Bezrin. 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 <laughs> right. I know this because we've been talking for months already. Exactly. So I, I knew this. Absolutely. Already, so it's fine. We I'm just brain dead today. It's fine. Yes. Anyways. Homelings. <laughs> All that goodness. From the best. Yes. I'll see you later. <sighs> Goodbye. For anyone who else wants to go, we Anyways, to so the bathhouse. Uh. So bad at this. You I haven't have lost research. it already. I need to write everyone's names down. Yeah, I need to write everyone's names down too. What? I'm struggling. I, I, oh, it's so bad. It's so <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's so. Ah, uh, bathhouse. I accidentally, is... I accidentally said Haskell earlier. Uh, here, 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 here. With know. the blue towels. Oh. Here. Please do come on in. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, and this is one of the dancers I was talking about. Hello there, darlings. Oh, that one's purple. Don't they have pretty makeup? So Anyways, pretty. This is the bathhouse. Oh. What did you say? I could teach you how to do it. You look lovely in makeup. Oh, I would love that. Would you actually? I, I would, would love to learn how to do the makeup things. Uh, yes. Dragons don't really do makeup because it washes off, but I, landers do it all the time. It's very pretty. <laughs> Some techniques I need to teach you. What are you, you thinking? Do some makeup oh, on. Please, that would be great. Oh, yes. I would love that. Absolutely love that. Yes, yes, yes. I will look forward to that. Uh, in any case, the bathhouse is right here. It's very pretty. You want to go inside? Yeah. <laughs> is it open? Please do check it out. Of course, yes. it's always open. Yes. 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 Sounds nice. Oh, I think I might. Oh, well, thing is already getting it on. Back, okay? we'll get oil into those, uh, Just a massage. You see, he's great. too pure for anything else. But his friend offered to spot him for this at least. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, the oh. water's. <laughs> now, what are you thinking? Dang. A so lot of things. It's really busy in here. That gets you so. Oh really? You can't a chance. I think I found a place where you can work. I suppose it's an option. I don't know. Only if you have me as your only customer, I'll only accept it then. Hmm, that might be hard to negotiate then. <laughs> Probably not built so enough. Or maybe just not built to have four people at once. <laughs> I have to say, I love your outfit. Yeah, see, this is super cute. Oh, okay. Thank you, I appreciate so... it. I, I like yours, honestly, a lot. Hmm. You get your jewelry. What are you thinking? I, I made it myself. I'm a... Oh, no, no. It does seem quite relaxing, <laughs> at the very least. Well, if you come by some other time when it's not so full and uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one time. Maybe they could. Maybe they could. Some of your wares in a shop. Teach me, and uh, we, 
when we both visit. And I can try my hand at it. Well, I like that idea. And you can practice on me as much as you need. If I, go, if I ever go to All right. places beyond. That sounds like a plan then. You are so very smart, and I love that about you. Ellen, by the way. Sorry, I probably should have started with that. Uh, Ray Lynn, uh, nice to meet you. Ellen Lynn. I can say I see you smile and Brenda Brim. Might as well uh, I love your have, have that smile get a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I, will I think I've seen all I need to see for now. Something else fitting for me at some point. Some Peter earrings or something to go with. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day you'll come back. <laughs> I have a prior engagement. I will definitely come back sometime, though. I, ju I just took off my shoes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you take care. Do you have, right? do you have, a, do you have a couple's yeah, deal? Apparently that's exactly yeah. the word. Mm, mm, right. We have couple's rooms if a little... Uh, you know you get interested. for 35 years of your life? I am not. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> probably not that. <laughs> Maybe something a bit more relaxing. We do just have regular rooms. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Yeah, yeah. it's more relaxing couple's deal. I understood we could always take out the instruments of fun if you want, but I guess that would be what you're looking for, just more of a private room? Something like that. Not today, but, uh, you know, in case we get curious. Maybe later. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Sadly, we have no, um, baths in those rooms. It's just a room of relaxation. He requires, he requires, uh, requires doesn't sound too bad. Right. <laughs> you just go into the bath and then into the room and then into the bath. Or... If he wants to put forward for right. the Probably wash it's off uh, before getting back into the bath. Uh, a, a, a shock out, if you will. You know, you get all warm and steamy and then you have to run through the holes or naked. Kind of cooling yeah, so off before you get in there and cuddle. Yeah. Whatever you plan to do in there. <laughs> cuddling. <laughs> Mostly cuddling. I see. Cuddling. Lots of cuddling. Yes. Yeah. As you will, mm -hmm. cuddling. <laughs> yeah, that's what you'll be doing. But if you will, darling, allow me not to hold you. I know you have prior engagements to attend to. I didn't catch your name. <laughs> My name is Renel, darling, and you're. I'm Shadik. Renel. Good to meet you. It's nice to meet you and yours, darling. At the docks. Lovely, I know. Red two-story building. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you all have a wonderful day. You're always welcome here. You know that. Appreciate it. I'll be seeing you soon, I'm sure. I don't know what was more hot and steamy, you or the <laughs> fucking bath. You are trouble. Uh, well, I do ha I do- I do try to at least let down and have some fun occasionally. Oh, I'm aware. That does sound fun, though. Maybe we could set a night yes, aside. It does, actually. Just you and I. Have some good food. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be a good idea. Mm-hmm. Nice little treat. Alright. I wonder how the blacksmith is doing if I'm gonna be yelled at upon return. I wanna know how to say much. I've already crossed that path. Oh. Shit. Ah, dark. You know? Fuck, it is dark. Holy shit. Here it's I am without my torch. Oh, yes, it is a bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I'll be right back. I need to grab a torch from indoors. Oh. Yes. Time, sh time shift lies. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you got the torch. You found it already. You want the, you know, put out another one that would be my torch there, buddy? Sunset's oh, rather quick. And I'll keep looking for my torch. Mm, good gone. timing to be always. Oh, thank yeah, you. Though. You so I've been looking around. I've been yeah. asking around in. Do I know you? It says that there's a what well within see? town, but this gets me to thinking, actually. I wander a lot. We might have crossed paths once or twice somewhere on the road. The road. Your face just looks very familiar, and I can't place it. Ten copper a cup. 
<laughs> wait, 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 you're a bard. Travelling bard. You're not entirely bard. Well, I sometimes bring you different storyteller, but... I guess you needed a barrel, then. The problem isn't... Yeah. Anything other than the lack of iron. My son, if you'd look at the notes. What are we looking for? Oh man, these spear tip. torches are really. Uh, yeah, spear tip, okay. Yeah. You managed to find something. Just uh, get some of that water when you it. Oh, I absolutely will. <laughs> I mean, if I manage to find a decent water angle. Uh, an entire spear would be two silver, but that's including the haft and the... Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't think we separate them on the sheets here, do we? That'd be Preparing a... the tip would be a small iron mis... Yes. Preparing the tip is a small iron miscellaneous. Oh, repairing it. Yeah, 40 copper. Repairing, okay. Well, we do have... Iron for that. For us to repair it, with no real monetary okay, gains to ourselves, would be 40 copper. Mm. Uh, no, so no monetary right. I've... Right. I very I've much appreciate that, sir. So. Um, Forgive my curiosity. It's no very rude to observe oh. without permission. You're okay. I'm used Pleasure to you. meet you, to see him. Tazim. Tyr. Local scribe, cartographer, examiner of curiosities. Tyr. I will not bother you, but at some point I may have to ask a few questions about the biology. The biology. Right. I think so. I tell you this. Trust me in my distractibilities. Thousand pardon. You would travel around Zerland, Fred. Um, a few years back, yes. Before all the business that occurred. I think there was a blacksmith there that might have been a fond of you as a friend. I met a few smiths while I was there. There was one who was very kind. I never did... I never did find out if he made it out. He got caught up in all that business. I do sometimes wonder, however. But did he ever draw a protest? Now that I think of it, a small world, Mister Tear. Small world indeed. Uh. Toria, these flyers mm. and fifteen copper. Ah, of course. I appreciate it if these were stuck to doors and not to other businesses. I don't want to start any trouble, but some of the alleyways and business things of the sort. Right. I travel these streets a lot, so I can make sure that they're uh, put where they can be seen. Did you Thank ever you. find a market? Maybe you'll bring some work in. You won't be pouring apple. Yes, I do. I'm trying to save them for food. Oh, good. Uh, he was, uh, he was in the bathhouse. Right, yes, I know. They were looking for Marcus. That's why I was asking. Right. <laughs> it's quite all right. I at least got to scout where the river goes. Unfortunately, Forty, I don't you said? it's close enough to me to actually make a difference. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean exactly? I'll add it to our funds. Call it 35. 35. <laughs> chop down trees and then use the water I wouldn't feel it. This is easier. Unfortunately, the river's too far away, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. I think it makes sense, unfortunately. In that case, allow me to offer something in return. I go foraging every day. Let me know if you and yours need a little bit of extra food. Thank you, Tia. It was kind of you. I will let you know. You have yourself a good night, Master Smith. 
and apprentice. Good to see you. And you as well, madam. Interesting. Um, small world. Small world indeed. Have you seen the bathhouse yet? Oh, no, we can go there later. Yes. The half. It's very nice. Is there an issue? Where? Well, it seems. He seems to think that he can make money off of my slave. How so? Trying to offer him work. Sharpen this. Payment for a service. Getting money out of him without my permission. Ah. Uh, I didn't realize he was your slave. My lady. He wouldn't know that. Please excuse him. How much do you want? Four? Sharpening. Oh, for sharpening. About 20 copper. Pretty cheap. Yeah, we could do a little cheaper. As an apology. I didn't mean to overstep any bounds. Since you offended the lady... Price. Perhaps shave some off of them. It depends whether or not I think they. We call it fifteen, and I'll get it done by tomorrow morning. Would that be acceptable Sorry, to the lady? Fine. We get it from the nobles in the morning. Come back, Dredge. If you ever I'll send you on your own. Down that way. Mm. Take a left. Red at the park. Again, please forgive we'll my presence. Mm. This one. Oh, yes, well. Be careful. Well, notice, boy. Pay attention to what you do next time. Mm. I'll be back in the morning. Of course. Mm. Stop the cold. He came to me. I didn't realize he was a slave. He just asked to sharpen it. I did the good blacksmith thing. I like my spine where it is, my boy. Yeah, me too. I figured it'd be good to get in good graces. It's much like staring at that beast of a man with nothing but a wood haft in my hand. Yeah, I was trying to get in his good graces, <laughs> and that fucking backfired too, I guess. Unfortunately, oh, he's an uneducated child as of now. Evening. Sorry, do I know you? Woodworker, name Sif. Oh, I've seen around see town. If you needed any wood. Oh, God. What don't we need? I'd be happy to ask you for all well, sorts of things, but unfortunately I don't have coin at the moment, so I can't. That's perfectly fine. You will probably be pleased to know that while scouting it out today, I managed to find what seemed like an abandoned mine. Took the... what, what was his name? Uh... The, the wolf, um... Tang. Yes, Tang. And we scouted out the mine a little bit. He says there's iron in there, but we need to actually... ...get it into a state of working order, so... If you don't need the wood right now, I can help him set up the mine, at least with the wood. To the Redots, so we don't want to step on that turn see what I can do. Have to be careful about that. Um, didn't think of that to be honest. Used to the north. Yeah, it's a bit different down here, friend. I have some friends who are be on him, so I understand. Um, 
goodness. Well, I will probably have to try and come up with some coin to get some wood tomorrow to keep my forge going. Um, how much would uh, a day's worth of uh, wood cost? 